Yo, what's good? It's your boy Kevin Kent. You watching the Rise DVD. We out here in low mass, man. We outside in the cold right now. I'm saying this is where I grew up. This is where I was raised. This is what made me the hungry motherfucker that I am right now. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know who I am, I do skits, I rap, I do major shit. You on the Rise DVD though, let's go. Yeah, so what's going on? My brother Kevin. Yeah, you know I'm good, saying? man. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Yeah, I'm loving you here, man. Nobody loving the energy, the vibes. Thank you, bro. Welcome Thank you. back home. Mm -hmm. You know? Thank um, you. I see you making a lot of moves online, man. Yeah, Aside man. Aside from the music, you know what I'm saying? Talk about the, the character Joker. As a big Joker character, I started it just doing comedy skits, trying to separate myself from niggas, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to do, do the same old rap shit that everybody been doing. I wanted to come with a different platform, you know what I'm saying? So. I started with the comedy, started doing other different skits, and then I fell into the big Joker thing. I found a mustache one day. And right when I put the mustache on, the first thing I could think of was, oh, that leg. <laughs> and after that, it just I just kept developing little parts to it and shit, you know? Mm. It's been like a good pawn to get people to, to pay attention to what I'm doing. Like, yo, acting is like something you, you, you trying to do? Or yeah, just... yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. You know, like, people be like, so you a comedian, you a rapper, what are you? I'm both, I'm an entertainer. Yeah. I like to do, I like to sing, I like to make beats, whatever the fuck I can do to, to stay creative, you know what I'm saying? I respect that. Yeah, sure. thank you, bro. What's up with, with, with the other upcoming moves? I seen fucking Tory Lanez reposting you. Yeah. A lot of yeah. big names, man. You know, talk yeah. about that shit. Yeah, What's up? Tory Lanez posted, uh, Nick Cannon, Nicki Minaj was the biggest one. Shout out to Nicki Minaj. She posted my video back in July. Um, just getting looks, man, and like setting it up, you know, like premeditating these murders, like planning them out. You know, figuring out what's popping, what's trending at the time, and, and uh, attacking it, and not waiting on nothing. I don't wait on nothing. Once I come up with an idea, I shoot it right there in that moment, and I drop it 10 minutes later. There's no wait time. I'm not waiting on niggas to do my graphics. I'm not waiting on niggas to edit my videos. None of that shit. Oh, so you, you handle that shit yourself? I do everything myself. Besides, right now, I got my man, shot my boy Twiz. Okay. He do my management out there, help me with bookings, help me with filming, but I do it all. We do it all ourselves. Look, nobody else come in and do this shit. We don't outsource nothing. Can we get some free game? I mean, yeah. I heard about the whole, like, uh, clickbait. Like, can you elaborate on that Yeah, shit? you know, so when I, was saying, when I was telling you shit like clickbait, like, you know, for this interview, you want to be like, you know, Kevin Kent, aka Big Joker, talks about being posted on Nicki Minaj's page, Tory Lane's page, you know, put their names in it as clickbait. Or, you know, I'll take sometimes a picture from the internet, something that will catch these kids' attention, and I'll post it. Say I do a video, and throughout the video, I make a weird face or something. I'll post that as the cap, as the cover, as the cover art for clickbait. You know what I'm saying? You want to make them click on your shit. Nowadays, it's, it's a lot more than just being talented. You gotta have a strategy to this shit that's gonna make motherfuckers wanna wanna follow you, wanna fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much what I've done. I've, I've, I've coursed my life in that direction. Now that you're doing all these moves, you know, traveling, mm -hmm. in and out of Lowell, you yeah. know what I'm saying, in and out of Cali. Mm -hmm. Like, what's, what's, what's your major goal for 2020? You know what I'm saying? It's a new year. I know you're trying to... I know you're trying to spice things up, switch it up. Like, yeah, yeah. Can you I feel just signed, I just signed a deal to do uh, 20 episodes on the CBOMB network. Shout out to Cali Plug, big California studios out there. And um, on top of that, I'm also doing a new album I'm working on. It's called The Letter X. It's about to be out by February. Okay. So, yeah, I'm active right now. I got a whole album done. I got videos done. Yo, we out here in the cold right now. You know why I wanted to do this in the cold? For one reason only. I wanted to remind myself about what made me so fucking hungry, about what, what, I'm, what I'm trying to get a, stay away from. You know, struggling, I grew up in these streets. I was hungry in these streets, I starved in these streets. My friends died in these streets, you feel me? And, and to come back here and be right here and sit right here and be cold and feel, feel that energy that kept me hungry, that's what, that's what keeps me going straight the fuck up. Cause I'm gonna fly back to LA tomorrow, it's gonna be sunshine and all that. But I wanna remember this right here when I watch this. Thank you everybody for watching. Make sure you subscribe below. Follow me at who is Kevin Kent. Go follow my guys, man, the rise. It's real deal shit. Thank you. Yo, follow me on Instagram at who is Kevin Kent. Make sure you check me out on Twitter, Facebook, all that shit. At who is Kevin Kent for everything. Let's go.
a female ass party, homeboy. Shit. Orale, what are you gonna do, kill her? That ass, homie. Oh shit, basketball players. I'm going back inside, eh? Get down, fool!